Hey everybody, how's it going? So we're back with some more new music. And, uh, well, I should say new to me. Uh, this is going to be Danzig. Now, I'm aware of who Danzig is, although I'm not going to pretend I've ever listened to his music. It's been, it was in a genre that I never really got into. And uh, now that I'm saying that out loud, I don't even think that's right, because it, I, I'm pretty sure he's technically heavy metal. Uh but I guess his origins, uh, I think he was in a band called The Misfits. Again, I know who they are, but I never really listened to them. And I, I want to say they are technically punk rock, and that's a genre I never got into. The same with that other guy. Uh, he's the guy with the really, the really thick neck. Uh, he was in Sons of Anarchy. Um, Henry Rollins. Like I know who he is. I've seen him interviewed. Uh, I think he even has a podcast. You know, He seems like a very smart guy, but it's just not something I ever really listened to when it comes to music. So, uh, Danzig, I, I know what he looks like. I am aware of who he is. I've seen the Portlandia episode with him in it, and uh, but I never really listened to his music. So we're we're gonna check it out, and we're gonna see what we got here. Uh, I had a few recommendations, and I kind of just picked one at random. So uh, I don't know. Let, let's see what we got. Let's check it out. Okay. What do we got going on here? Really, uh, you're right off the bat, really, uh, I almost want to say grungy type of guitars. Very, um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of amps they're using, but it's definitely a dirty sound. I don't know if that's even a good word to use, but it's, yeah, I guess dirty. dirty. <laughs> there you go. I just created a new uh, setting on your guitar amps. Let's have a distortion. Uh, let's have a distortion sound called dirty. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the first thing that came to mind. Is he wearing like a mask? I like, I don't know. I just got I just got like images of Corey Taylor in my head. You know, I, I don't know. Let's keep it going. I wanna be the world you feel. I wanna be a emptiness. I wanna be the God you kill. Alright, so his voice is nowhere near as distorted as I thought it was going to be. A very, very clean uh, vocal style. It's not at all consistent with the genre for the most part, but if you've been watching this channel at all, you'll know that um, the one thing I always point out is how these bands I keep checking out defy the stereotypes. I wanna be the Christ who dies hmm. He's crawling around. The fans can't get to him. Can you feel it? I I never I never thought that they were a band that wore masks or anything like that. Um, it's just not something I thought of. I when I think of that, the only band that really comes to mind is, is Slipknot, and I know that's not true. I know there's a few others. So I just haven't got to them yet, but. I, I don't know, I just I just didn't picture it. That's not what the first thing that came to mind when I thought of Danzig. I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about this. Like the, the vocals are not winning me over, and I and I don't know why. The vocals are are just uh, they seem very stale. Like uh, there's not a lot of substance behind it. I I don't know. I gotta. 
Forget every ever said that I said you would bleed. Very simple guitar work. Like, uh, like the music itself is also very simple. There's not a lot. There's nothing complex here. There's nothing really impressive musically. It's very, it's very, excuse me. It's very, um, I don't want to use the word amateurish, but it's very, very, um, bland. There's not, there's not a lot going on here. That definitely reminds me of like that definitely reminds me of like the first era slipknot, like the first mask with the dreadlocks. Like I, I don't know, that it's just minus the dreadlocks. That that reminds me very much of it. I don't know why. I'd have to compare the two. I mean, it's a good riff. It's got a kind of haunting tone. I just kind of wish there was more to it. <laughs> what is going on on this stage? Oh my god. So basically, um, I have a feeling the song's winding down. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, this didn't impress me at all. All right. Yeah. All right, so that was Danzig, and yeah, I think I think you heard it all. Um very very weak bland lyrics like there's not a lot that uh, interested me with that you know what his voice reminded me of his voice reminded me of somebody that really can't sing and shouldn't be singing but decides to sing anyway you know especially especially towards the end there when he went up that little octave or whatever you call it and he tried to put some like balls behind it and it didn't work it didn't work at all. That was actually kind of cringing. I rem oh man, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me know what you think of this particular song. Did I just pick a bad song? That's what everybody's gonna say. Oh, you picked the wrong song, Media Man. You gotta you gotta listen to this one. This is the one that really showcases what he can do. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll entertain your bias. We'll 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 try another one. But I don't know. That that was not the way I see it. How bad can it? be? Now, all of you out there that are going to tell me that that song is not a good representation of Danzig, all of you out there that are going to say that there's a better song out there, that's really not a good one, that's not one of his best, they thought it was good enough to, to make it a single and make, make a video out of it. They don't, just, they don't just pick a song randomly off their record and decide to invest the funds and the time to make a music video. At least, I, I mean, I could be crazy. I'm not a studio. You know, I'm not a record company. I'm not a label. But if there's going to be money invested into it, I, I it, it usually seems like they pick the best cuts off the record that they want to showcase. So I, I I don't know I don't know how I'm I don't know I don't know that's just me rambling. I don't know I don't know. But again again I, I and I complained about the 
the weakness of the band as a whole. The lyrics were weak. The vocals were extremely weak. The the music itself and the guitar tones were kind of weak. But at the same time, I know I thought the riff was cool. You know, it definitely had like a haunting vibe. I just feel like they didn't do enough with it. it there's not enough meat on the bone there for me. That song definitely will not be getting added to any playlist, I can assure you. All right, everybody. That's all I got for now. Um, yeah, give me, give me some other recommendations. We'll check them out again. I'll see you soon.